Yeah, hi friends, today we are going to see molecular phylogeny, dendrogram, their types and the what are the significance and the importance of the uh, molecular phylogeny in this world. So phylogeny re refers to the evolutionary history of the development of a species or of a taxonomic group of organism and it was first coined by the uh, Ernest Haeckel in, in 1866 and it is a German word that is phylogeny and the Greek word for lawn meaning tribe, genus, species and the geny meaning generation or the production. So molecular phylogeny is a branch of phylogeny makes use of a molecular sequencing to study evolutionary relationship and the history. So phylogeny may be represented by a tree diagram called as a phylogenetic tree and or evolutionary tree or it is also known as a tree of life or dendrogram. So one of the most widely used for mole molecular phylogeny studies and analysis is the sequence of the small subunits and the ribosomal RNA that is R RNA. So types of the phylogenic tree uh, we can uh, uh, explain uh, in two ways that is uh, phylogenic tree can be drawn uh, either scaled or unscaled. Uh, in this figure this is, it is a scaled uh, branches and it is a unscaled branches. The branch length are proportional to the amount of the changes between organism or sequences is termed as the scaled branches while the unscaled is their length can conveys no particular information. So uh, there are uh, different types of the phylogenetic tree in which rooted, unrooted, uh, bifurcated and multifurcating tree. Rooted tree um, has an emergence in which the uh, uh, all the related texts are descended from. So there is a common ancestor in this rooted tree and the unrooted tree they, you know, doesn't show common ancestor but it hypothesizes on the degree of evolutionary re relatedness between the texts. So bifurcated tree in which has a maximum two descendants arising from each of the interior nodes. So in this figure it's an internal point or the interior node it's a terminal point and it's an emergence point. Multifurcating tree has a multiple descendant arising from each of the interior nodes at its internal point. So significance or importance of the molecular phylogenetic tree. So it is used to search new species, species where spread geographically the common ancestor of extant and extinct species to identify the most recent common ancestor and to recognize how closely they are related. So depending upon the location of each organism on a tree, the distance between them can be calculated using the computation software. So here is one example, uh, the comparison between the, uh, the closeness between the human and the other organism like chimpanzee, other mammals, fruit fly and the gorilla. And the divergence time is 4 to 6 million years ago, 55 million years ago, 782.7 Maya and the 6 to 8 Maya. So uh, a general scheme of the phylogeny and relation of human with uh, other mammals. So above data clearly shows that a chimpanzee and the gorilla are more closely related to human than the other mammal and fruit fly. So importance of um, molecular phylogeny. So in a molecular level, the phylogeny gives us information about the how genes and genomes evolve, genetic variation between species, relatedness or the evolutionary distance between species, history of the life on earth, unclassified proteins and genes. So, as a conclusion, we can say that it is not only to use DNA but also RNA and protein sequence to construct a molecular phylogenetic tree. Molecular phylogeny relies on the information and relatedness of genes or DNA sequence within the organism. So, all about the molecular phylogeny. Keep watching. Thank you.